Hi friends. For years, I have wanted a backup camera on my RV, and I have tried several. It came with a backup camera. I have it all. It's a 2001 RV, and um, it came with a backup camera, but it's not adjustable. It's black and white. It works very well, but it's pointed down so that you can use it to back into an RV spot. And the only thing that I can see with my extended bumper, which carries my electric tricycle and I tow the Jeep, the only thing I can see is the grill of the Jeep. I can't see traffic behind the Jeep. I can't see the lanes. I've tried several different ones and don't want to say bad about other products, but I did some research and decided on the one I wanted to try next. And it's this one. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. The Halaview BT7, that's Bite Touch 7 with a touch screen. Uh, I did my research. I decided that's the one I wanted. So I contacted the company and they agreed to send me one to try. So just one of the advantages of being a YouTuber with all of you subscribers. So uh, although I want to thank Hal of you for giving me the opportunity to try this, I want to thank you <laughs> for being here in such numbers that they would agree to that. Uh, let's see what we got here. It's a touch screen, so no buttons, you just touch the screen. Rear view camera. Uh, on the back of the box it says that it's a 7 inch um, display. Resolution is uh, 1080p HD, FHD actually. Um, it's got four channels, and that's the reason that I picked this one because, and I was hoping they'd send me the whole package with the four cameras, but they were gracious enough to just send me this one, which is the starter pack, and it's $439 if you had to buy it. Um, Hopefully they'll give me some discount codes if you're interested in one of these and we can get it a little less expensive than that. But I'm going to spend another couple of hundred dollars. They range from $189 to $237 on Amazon for two more cameras, which are the side cameras. And this will then give me a side view when I'm in heavy traffic or on the freeway or whatever. Rear view, two side cameras. It'll actually... Um, uh, uh, monitor four cameras so you can also have a front viewing camera but I've got all kinds of front viewing cameras so I'm not worried about that uh, what else it's transmitting distance now another reason that I picked this one is because it doesn't have any trouble according to the reviews of transmitting all the way from the front to the back of a 40-foot motorhome. Matter of fact, it'll do, a, I think it said a 65-foot 18-wheeler um, truck. But on the back, it says transmitting distance, 984 feet line of sight. So almost a 1,000 feet line of sight. But of course, it's not line of sight when it's on the dash and the camera's in the back. So that 984. 84 feet of line of sight is what gives us the ability to do 65 feet through all kinds of stuff. Uh, it takes a, Mac, uh, a, a micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes and it records. So, God forbid you have an accident, you have a uh, record of what happened. Uh, video format is AVI. Anyway, let's see what we got in the box. Well, the monitor, 7 inches, feels good, nice rounded corners, Halaview, antenna mounts up here, speakers on the back, 
SD card, power on, USB-C hookup. Hello, view. This is a uh, suction cup mount for your windshield. I will not be using that. I cannot reach my windshield from my steering wheel in my RV. This is a uh, sticky mount. You can mount that on your dash or wherever you need to do it. And yes, it's 3M sticky stuff, the good stuff. The camera itself mounts on the back of the motorhome. What do we have here? A rubber weather seal uh, for mounting the camera. This is a um, thing that you can get a, a magnet and make, a, make the camera a magnetic mount. And down below here, some cleaning cloths for mounting the sticky thing uh, so it can come and go. That's the adhesion promoter and some wipes and cleaning cloth. All of the cords that you need to make the monitor work and the camera work in any way you need to hook it up. And what's missing is the 40 feet of wire I got with some other ones that I had to spring out through there and down underneath the motorhome all the way to the back and back up. There is no 40 feet of wire to do that with because it's wireless. That was another reason that I picked it. And what do we have here? Antenna. Oh, what's the plural of antenna? Antennae. Two for the monitor, one for the camera. And some screws and some electrical quick connects. That's it. I'm going to hook it up and then we're going to go up in the front and look out the back. Well, I got it all hooked up and it's working. Let's check it out. You hear my portable air conditioner running there. It's about 95 degrees right now today. Got the new camera installed. Hell of you. It's the black one with the antenna up there on the top. Very easy installation. You can hook it into those running lights up there and uh, that powers it. I had another wire coming from my older camera and I hooked it into that. So that rectangular thing below the black one with the antenna, which is the Halibut, is my old uh, thing and it still works. Um, so I just hooked it into the power of that, so the new camera comes on when the old camera comes on. But uh, the old camera, all I can see is the hitch, that's my tricycle mount, and of course the Jeep hooks onto those things there. With the new camera, I can see all of this and more. Let's take a look at what we have. First of all, I mounted it with this 3M sticky one, just stuck it to the dash, tightened up these thumb screws, got it back against that so it's very solid, easy to, easy peasy. The antennas stick up like this, by the way, this is my windshield, <laughs> but like I said, it's 105 degrees today, I'm not uncovering the windshield. Uh, the antennas stick up like that, but I just folded them down like this, so they're not in my field of vision and um, work fine. This is my old monitor. You can see it's black and white. It's very good. It's a Sony, but it's 20 years old. Black and white, not uh, a really crisp picture. Let's check out the new one. There's a button right here on the cigarette lighter plug. There we go. Look at that picture. Color, 1080p, fantastic picture.
Let's try out the touch screen in the menus. Uh, first of all, touch it here in the corner. First thing is uh, mode. You can get uh, one, two, three, or four cameras. Touch the one you want to look at. Lots of different adjustments. Right here is the volumes. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can adjust the volume. So if you're backing into an RV spot and your wife is back there, you can hear her. You don't need the walkie-talkies. This will function that way. Reminds me of a story. I read a statistic not too long ago. It said last year, 400 spouses were run over by RVs backing into RV spots in RV parks. And in the article, they claimed that over 100 of them were accidents. What else do we have here? Touch the menu. Uh, pairing. I've already paired my one camera, but that's where you would go to pair more cameras. Picture. You can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the color, and you can turn on an LED at night. Well, I came around here to show you how much light you get from that camera when you turn on the LEDs. It's a pretty good bright light. If you had to do something back here, it lights up the night. Uh, mirror. Now you can, if you have to mount your camera upside down, sideways, whatever, this is the one that works for me. Uh, Q mode. All of these different parameters for different cameras. You can have two cameras, three cameras, four cameras, however you want to look at it. Uh, settings. You can program how it triggers the camera to come on. You can change, of course, from PAL to NTSC if you happen to be in Europe. Um, auto dim. You can have it automatically dim at night so that it's not blinding you while you drive. And you can turn the screen off. Uh, scan. You can have it go from camera to camera to camera, and you can set how long it stays on each camera. Uh, re park lines. Oh, you can adjust the park lines to be any way you want. Whatever works for you. Record. You can record the video. You can format the card, etc. And you can play your videos. Good clear picture. While I'm editing, I notice there are some vertical lines in the middle of the picture and over to the right, some curved ones. Those are absolutely not in the monitor when you're looking at it with your eye. It's a function of taking video with video camera. It's going to help me a lot in terms of my safety when I'm driving. Let's go for a ride. Taking a video of the Halaview monitor with my iPhone as I drive with the other hand around the corner and back onto the dirt road is not a safe way to go. Let's go home and look at some of the recorded video. Let's try playing a video. Play. I want to stress one more time that the lines you see there on the screen are not actually there. It's just a function of taking a video picture of a video picture. Um, my first video moving right there as I'm leaving the ranch. Good wide field of view. onto the highway. See the Santa Rita Mountains in the background there? Pause. Go. Coming back to the ranch. Pretty dusty road. 
I decided that I wanted to adjust the camera down so that I could see a little bit more of the front of the Jeep. That's better. I could not be happier with my new Haliview BT7 touchscreen rear view camera for my RV. Uh, the wide field of, of vision for what's going on in the back, seeing both lanes on uh, uh, each side of my Jeep, uh, the clear color uh, 1080p monitor, the touchscreen menu system, so easy to operate. I could not be happier. Well, let me back up a second. I'm going to be happier when I get the side cameras to show me what's going on on each side of the RV, whether I'm going down the road or backing into an RV spot. Um, having those side cameras is going to be a game changer. And I'll show you how they work when I get them. Um, I was able to get uh, a pretty good price for us. There are three links in the video description below. Two of them are to Amazon links. One of them is to the non-touch version of this camera and uh, monitor. And don't get confused. It's considerably less money than the touchscreen version, which is newer. Um, fall, actually October of 2024. If you're watching this now, uh, Amazon is $439. Uh, if you go to the other link in my video description below, you'll go to the actual Haliview website. You'll get this for uh, $395, and if you use my discount code of JC Travel Stories, another 5% off, putting you in the range, again, October 2024, uh, around $375, maso menos. Happy with the camera, happy with the price. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.